And also, I really, I can't stress enough, I really want to look through the entire patent system looking for ideas. That'll speed me up rather than having to reinvent the wheel all the time. There could be so many ideas already out there that nobody knows about. It was never brought to market, but it, there's a patent out it somewhere out there somewhere covering something that might be useful to us today that you could bring back as a product or bring back as a personal use tool or something. <clears throat> and it could save you a lot of time and effort and speed things up. And It's just, I really want to honor the inventors that came before me by looking at what they invented. Imagine all these people 200 years ago who are dead now that came up with these great ideas and they're forgotten, lost in the, in the vaults of the patent system. I want to do these people a favor and, and read their patents, see what they thought of it, and, and give them some credit and make a YouTube video about it and bring it to the awareness of today's public. Bring it back. There is some really cool stuff. I saw this thing with, with stilts that have big airbags on the bottom and then two walking sticks that have big airbags on the bottom. And you can walk on water with stilts and airbags that are floating. And it looked really fun. You could, like, walk across a lake. Imagine walking across the ocean or a lake on stilts. And you're not even getting wet. But you're, like, walking on these weird water walking things. It looks like it'd be a lot of fun. Imagine doing fights with a friend. Two people... And you try to knock one another down, and then you fall into the water. It'd be just the most incredible thing. I want to bring that one back, maybe. Um, I stumbled across that while searching for another patent. And I, I just happened to see it, and I was like, what is this? I want to do more stumbling into great ideas like that. I want to see them. And I know that product doesn't exist. You can't go to Walmart and buy that. It's not anywhere. It's something that was conceived maybe the guy made a prototype or two couldn't get sales died and now it's lost the guy died or he moved on with his life or he got another job but it was a really fascinating idea and there's just there's going to be thousands of ideas like that i want to go out there and see them and you know what i'd like to see them and make a prototype of them and share it on youtube and say this was invented by this guy it was a great idea. I don't know why it ever succeed, never succeeded. The patents expired. I'm going to go ahead and make one and, and have fun with it and show you guys the process of making this device, and you can make one yourself. And if any of you talented entrepreneurs out there want to, why not make this product and bring it to market? And, and in this new e-commerce age, maybe you can have some success where he wasn't able to in 1920 or whatever. And I think that would be doing these past inventions uh, service, bringing them back to the light. I can custom pick ones that really deserve to be brought back. That would be fun to me. And with my skills and fabrication and technology, I can make any of this stuff. I can make anything. What do you mean, crowdfunding? That would be an awesome channel. I know! That, that's a fascinating thing, right? A channel that combs through year by year all the inventions and makes the, their favorite three and brings them back, going all the way back to the 1920s and stuff. And you bring them back, and then you encourage other people to make them, and you encourage some entrepreneur out there to go out and actually make it a product if they're inspired. And they don't have to worry about infringing on a patent because these are expired patents. And I could use, even use non-expired patents and bring them back. Um, if it's for personal use, I just can't make it a commercial product. Or, I could use non-expired patents that are not currently being produced, contact the original patent holder and arrange a licensing agreement, give him 5% cut and bring his idea back. He'd be really pleased to be making some money back on that original invent investment to get the patent that he never followed up with. I'm sure a lot of guys that hold patents that never did they never did anything with would be tickled to have someone contact them and, and say, I wanna I really love your patent and I wanna bring it to market and I wanna pay you a cut and you don't have to do anything. So and I've already done that actually. I have a product I sell right now 
that I did that exact thing with. I, I tried to get a patent. I found another patent that was too similar to my idea. And so rather than close my business down, I contacted the guy and I did a licensing deal. I pay him a royalty on every sale. Although, as an update, actually, he contacted me and said that he no longer is going to be pursuing his product line. And so as a favor to me, to do me a favor, to be a nice guy, I don't have to pay him a royalty anymore. He just did that out of the kindness of his heart. So I no longer pay him a royalty, which is pretty cool. And yet he still gave me a license, an exclusive license to make it, so I'm still covered by his patent. So I'm benefiting and he's not. And that's pretty nice. That worked out very much in my favor.